lawmakers in the United States have put on hold the Barack Obama administration's decision to sell eight F-16 fighter jets to Pakistan, saying the country might use them against India or other regional powers. This comes after intense lobbying by India. It is one of the most significant diplomatic victories for India. Some of Pakistan's fleet of F-16 jets is due to be decommissioned in the next few years. Pakistan initiated talks with Washington to acquire eight new Block 52 F-16s. The deal was first drawn out in 2015. As per the arrangement, Pakistan would have paid $270 million, while the US would grant the remaining $430 million for the purchase. The $430 million was slated to be financed from USA's foreign military financing program. Number four. India summoned US Ambassador Richard Verma to convey its displeasure and disappointment over Obama administration's decision. Foreign Secretary J. Shankar summoned Mr. Verma to the South Bloc and during the 45-minute meeting told him about India's concerns over U.S. military aid to Pakistan which New Delhi believes goes into anti-India activities. India also strongly expressed its displeasure to U.S. Defense Secretary Ashton Carter during his visit to India. India advocated that such sophisticated fighter jets are suitable for advance warfare, and not for striking terrorist dugouts. Number three. Intense pressure from India resulted in stiff opposition in US Congress when the deal came in for discussion. It ultimately resulted in Congress blocking the funding of the sale from the US government's foreign military financing program. Senator Bob Cocker, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee was in the forefront of the opposition. His statement. I continue to oppose any taxpayer dollar being used at this time to support this sale given that Pakistan is providing safe haven to terrorist groups and refusing to target Haqqani network, which attacks US troops and threatens the future of Afghanistan. Prohibiting a taxpayer subsidy sends a much-needed message to Pakistan that it needs to change its behavior. Number two. Pakistan was asked to foot the full bill of $700 million for the eight fighter jets, a price increase of two and a half times the original cost. Unable to do so due to financial inability, the deal was scrapped altogether. Jordan has offered to sell Pakistan 16 used F-16 of the Block 30 variant, a much older version than the Block 52S that Pakistan would have obtained from the United States. Pakistan Secretary Katak conceded that the used Block 30 F-16S being offered by Jordan were not of the same quality and standard as the Block 52 that were originally intended to be bought from the US. Some sources of Pakistan's foreign ministry revealed that Pakistan is considering China's Chengdu J-10 and Russia's Sukhoi Su-35. This possibility is highly unlikely, as purchasing Chengdu J-10 or Sukhoi Su-35s would entail logistical complications and costly maintenance. Number 1 The difficulty over the F-16 deal was the sign of increasingly frayed ties between Pakistan and the United States. It brought into focus the underlying strains in Washington Islamabad ties due to Pakistan's alleged inaction against the Taliban, Haqqani Network, and Lashkari Taiba, and concerns over the scope and pace of development of its missile and nuke program. This approach of hard-hitting diplomacy was not adopted by India earlier. Strengthening ties with USA has resulted in India having the foothold to exert this kind of diplomatic pressure. After having failed with soft approach, Modi government is moving towards corrosive diplomacy to put pressure on Islamabad and isolate it. 
the difference in ties with USA and Pakistan to USA and India can be easily understood by the fact that, Pakistan was denied funding for F-16 whereas US wants to manufacture F-16 in India. Thanks for watching. Today, Sina Vietnamese relations is tense. Watch this video to know 5 weapons that Vietnam can use to block any Chinese aggression.